It's about that whole national good, if you like. Providing an essential service to all New Zealanders. Keeping the lights on and keeping the energy flowing. We're about doing it safely, about being reliable, about ensuring the future is there for our country. Both with Transpower and myself, there's been a lot of growing over 30 years. And for the next 30 years, I think it's going to be exciting. Around the mid 80s, there was a whole lot of things happening in the energy sector, loss of supply and, and those types of things on the grid. We were told that we'd built too much, we needed to use some of the capacity that we had built. Things tend to come to a pressure point, I think. The sector was restructured, privatised. One sort of centralised body got split into a multitude of different um, organisations. On July the 1st, the company became a fully independent state-owned enterprise and a company in its own right. The move brought to an end seven years of existence as an operational division of ECNZ and marks a new beginning for the company and a new era for the electricity industry. It was a very lean company. When I joined, there was less than 150 people. We were a management company. We had to form contracts and relationships with the service providers. There were many teething issues. A lot of them were to do with the interfaces between generation and transmission. And yet even at that point, it had a reputation for looking after its people. We found that good relationship management got the best results. Underpinning that always was to do the right thing. If you can't tell when an asset needs work doing, it'll tell you through failures. And we had a lot of those in the early days. Well, weather sure can change your day from a quiet one so one of those days all coordinators dream about. I was the first woman in the control room. There were some attitudes in there that were a little bit, you know, becoming outdated. A woman couldn't do that job. And then goodness gracious, what would our wives think and that type of thing. So I've really seen big shifts in our whole culture. The best change is not being technology. The biggest change is the people in Transpower and how we work together. One of the big changes over the time I've been in, in Transparo is, is health and safety. When I was a young fella, it was shorts and a t-shirt. Now you've got the full suite of safety gear and it's been really good, an important thing for ensuring you know, people go home at night to their families. Asset management's been a big area that we've improved a lot on. The better gathering of information and the modernising of the fleet of equipment we have out there. Over 30 years, Transpower's been there for the people of New Zealand through the ups and downs. When the Christchurch earthquake struck, I was the regional service manager for the South Island, so it was quite a demanding time, tending to the repairs that were required on the grid and you know, just making sure people had that time for their families and yeah, just surviving people's lives were just turned upside down. We'd learnt a lot from the Edgecombe earthquake a few decades earlier where we learned how to better secure equipment in a substation. So our assets actually survived the Christchurch earthquake quite well. We knew the storm was coming. We were prepared as we could be. But we didn't really have the expectation or the anticipation that it was going to be as big an impact as it was. I think we were all quite traumatised by the amount of damage. Especially once we found out the substation in the Hawke's Bay had been flooded. In my view, some very, very clever thinking in the field got power back on quickly. The industry was just absolutely fantastic. Everybody just wanted to get stuck in. Just really, really um, pretty humbling to think about all those people that helped. So I'm um, pretty proud of that stuff, really. I do feel really proud to work at Transpower. You're part of an organisation doing a lot of good for the country. Transpower does have a target of attracting a 40-40-20 workforce. So it's 40% male, 40% female, and 20% of either. And that's fantastic. New Zealand has a huge decarbonisation task on its hands, transitioning to a fully renewable electricity system. We're on the forefront of climate action and climate response. So the challenge then is to how do we meet this and how do we change and how do we evolve? The next 30 years at Transpower are going to be really interesting. There's just so much growth and so much happening with electrification and 
more people trying to connect to the grid. We're empowering the energy future for New Zealand and it's exciting to be at a place where they're on that journey of growth, change and an exciting future ahead.